Well, Stu, people are not happy about the idea of an 800 foot train sitting uh, right here, uh, spanning from King Street to College Street. Uh, they're afraid it's going to essentially essentially create a wall between the Burlington waterfront area and the rest of the city. I spoke with folks today who said we might not have much choice in this matter, though, because the options are limited. Melinda Moulton says bringing back the passenger rail has been one of her missions for over 30 years. To support our city and bring economic development to the, to the back of Burlington. And in 2020, her goal is expected to become a reality. But as for where the Amtrak train might sit overnight once it's here. Right in the downtown core waterfront district. That wasn't part of her plan. You won't see a view, you won't see the lake, you will see, you won't see the sunset, you will see a big metal train. The state, city and planning commission are evaluating four potential sites for the train on Beach Track, the Burlington Rail Yard, Flynn Avenue and the Burlington Waterfront. And this is very, very close to an awful lot of activity and it could pose potentially pose some problems. Peter Keating with the Chittenden County Regional Planning Commission is helping lead the site evaluation process. He says that people have valid concerns about the waterfront location, but the train has to go somewhere and options are limited. Between King Street and College Street where the train station is, that's just about 800 feet. It, it does just fit in there. Keating says the study isn't over and many factors still need to be considered before a site is picked, like distance to the station, access to electricity, proximity to lodging, and the effects on views and noise. Hopefully we can find a place that has minimal impacts and the train can still be serviced and everybody is happy. Moulton just hopes it's nowhere near this view. This is not the location to be storing and servicing a train. And a location is expected to be picked out within the next two months. The city says they plan on keeping the public informed on this process and would like their input. For now, live in Burlington, Helena Batapaglia, NBC 5 News.